This is Alia. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I want to show you a recipe that's going to help you to be able, it's an alternative to soft drinks and pop and soda and Pepsi and Mountain Dew and Sprite and all these terrible things we literally should not be putting into our bodies. So if you are ready to change uh, drinking things like that, including by the way, diet sodas, I believe those are probably the same or worse. Uh, than regular sodas. That's just my opinion. I have not studied if it's worse or better, but either way, those things have lots of chemicals that we shouldn't be putting in our bodies. And if you aren't on a journey to health or if you are just trying to get away from drinking soft drinks, uh, this recipe could very much help you in doing that. So the first thing we're gonna add is carbonated water. How delicious. I love the fizz. I'm adding a whole lime. That gives it like a mountain dewy, or a like seven up Sprite sort of feel to it. If you don't have limes easily, you can use a lemon. Use maybe half a lemon. I would prefer a whole lemon, by the way, over lemon concentrate, but still lemon concentrate is gonna be a pinch of salt. And so next ingredient I wanna talk about. This is stevia. It's actually, if I understand the directions correctly, it's mainly urethritol with a little bit of stevia. Um, I don't personally have a problem with urethritol. Maybe some people do. So maybe use monk fruit. You wanna make sure that if you get a stevia, it does not have dextrose or maltodextrin in it. These are very bad things for your body. Um, I believe from what I have understood that they actually do worse in your body than like regular cane sugar. So I will put a link below for a Dr. Berg video that explains what maltodextrin or dextrose is. But when you're searching for your stevia, please make sure it doesn't have that ingredient in it. Da, 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 da. So I'm putting one spoon. There you go. Put the salt over there. Mix it up a little bit. So uh, here it is. I think it's very refreshing. It's good. If you're on the carnivore diet, for sure I'm not like promoting that you drink this. However, I've seen a lot of people in various groups say I'm addicted to Diet Coke and so I wanna give this as an option because you actually have no idea what's in the Diet Coke. If you buy bubbly, for instance, at Walmart, it says like natural flavors. We have no idea what natural flavors are. At least this, and if maybe if you're on the carnivore diet and you feel bad about doing the lime, don't do the lime. Uh, the stevia is way better. The monk fruit is way better than the Diet Coke. Um, and it's just maybe like a crutch to help you wean off of it completely. Do you get what I'm saying? Like go from that bad to if you consider this bad. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's an easy way to, it's an easy way to wean yourself off of Diet Coke. Or if you're not even doing the carnivore diet and you just want to get off of soft drinks, this is a very easy way to do it and like switch it over. And now if you want to fully wean off this, maybe use a little bit less, a little bit less stevia, maybe a less lime and uh, just get yourself down to the sparkling water. I love sparkling water. I make this for my kids, I make this for my husband. I make it for myself sometimes. Like I like sparkling water and water and coffee a lot more, but this is a very good option to help wean yourself off. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you have a drink that you have that's helping you get off of um, Cokes or Diet Cokes or these diet soft drinks, let me know because maybe we can share that information with somebody else and help them. Thank you so much. If you're interested in finding out how I currently eat, how I've gotten un unaddicted to sugar and junk food and ultra processed foods, rebranded junk food, uh, and how I've lost 30 pounds and greatly improved my quality of life, check out this next video.